Uh, we're there one night, and uh, who walks in but Chris Carlin, Evan Roberts, and Eddie Scazzari. All right. They sit down, okay, but that they're, you know, eating, whatever. So we send over a round of shots. You know, my buddies and I were all in our mid-30s, big fans of the station. We listen forever. Uh, Evan and Chris Carlin, kind of douchey about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been in and around this his whole life, but I guess not around people. Yeah, and the way he does a show is he sits very low to the ground. The lights are dark. Yes. He has his headphones in, and you can not you can barely see him. Yes. You go in there, and he's doing a show. He hates being on television. Yep. He can't stand being on television. He has rebuffed tele- many a request. Right. So, I mean, that's just the way he is. He doesn't like, he likes going in, doing the show, being him in the microphone, and that's it. So what has happened to Evan Roberts? I don't know. Well, here he is. We can't, we can't talk about this without the, having him defend himself. Um, so we got a couple of... What's up? What are you eating? A cliff bar over there? I'm having a cliff bar. All right. My morning uh, energy, whatever. Okay. Morning energy, whatever. So there's a couple issues that uh, people have brought up today. Number one, you're douchey. Right. Out in public, we've had several people call up and say that <laughs> when they've approached you, you've been douchey to them. How would you define douchey? Uh, you mean you know, uncomfortable and awkward? Guy sent you Bam. a drink. Right. Guy sent you a drink. I, no one has ever sent me a drink. But you would agree that you aren't great in these social environments when people are surrounding you where you're getting recognized. I, I I have been awful. In fact, I used to hang out with a buddy of mine who lives in California, and whenever I would get approached, he would kill me afterwards saying, you're so awkward. Yeah. Not that he wouldn't say I was fully douchey, but I could see how it could come off that way. So I feel I've gotten better with it. But I'll give you an example. The other day, I was at Yankee Stadium. And a guy said, hey, Evan. And I turned around, and I, I have to admit, I was so awkward to him. I was like, hey. So I could, if, if that guy called in and said, boy, Evan was douchey Thursday night at Yankee Stadium, I would say he's probably right. This is the first time ever that I can remember that someone at the radio station got crushed for like 15, 20 minutes on a show, then had the opportunity to defend themselves yes. and agreed with all of it. Because <laughs> that's, that's what a you very just good did. Point. You're like, yeah, I'm a douche and I'm angry. <laughs> I'm an angry douche. That's me. You're right. Need anything else? 